This episode of What's the Apps is brought to you by Jack Threads. Well, hello there, people. It's John Q here from Techno Buffalo, and how's it going? Hope you guys are doing swell. Recently, I picked up for myself a Windows Phone 7 loaded phone, and uh, so far, so good. So I thought for this episode of WTA, I'm going to share with you guys the apps loaded onto my Windows Phone 7 loaded phone. Repeat myself a bunch of times. That's fine. Hit me! Just a heads up, I'm not going to be mentioning things like Facebook, Twitter, Netflix, and so on. I want to focus specifically on Windows Phone 7, apps made for Windows Phone, okay? And to start things off in alphabetical fashion, the first app on the list is... Cool Tools, a great all-in-one app with a built-in timer, ruler, stopwatch, and more. You can totally download all of these things separately, and many of them are actually made by Microsoft. But if you're looking for an all-in-one tool... Pick this up. Next, GChat. This app is only available on the Mango software. It works beautifully and the interface is seamless with the Metro UI. It also has live tile support. Awesome stuff. Next on the list is GMaps. I am not a fan of Bing for anything and Maps is no exception. GMaps is a great app that provides you with a similar Google Maps experience you'd get from iOS or Android. Next, MetroTube. Probably one of the best apps on Windows Phone 7. MetroTube provides you with a totally wicked and seamless metrified YouTube experience. Tons of features including lists from your YouTube account, HD video playback, voting, commenting, and my personal favorite, a bar illustrating the like to dislike ratio in searches. YouTube totally needs this on their site, by the way. The app also neatly integrates with the native video player, which is always cool. Next, notes. A very, very simple notes app. You just open it and take notes with it. I personally like this one the best because the icon is the most native looking out of all of them. Next on the list is Reddit. Yeah, as a Redditor, I've got to have a Reddit app. Unfortunately, there aren't many available in the marketplace yet, but the Reddit Yeah app seems to do it great job. And don't let that silly name fool you, this client is pretty solid. Not as feature packed compared to those on iOS or Android, but good enough for casual browsing. Next, Toggle, a simple app that allows you to add shortcut live tiles to, like the name suggests, toggle Wi-Fi, airplane mode, Bluetooth, data, and a few more. Next, Weather Live. I just wanted a simple weather app with a live tile feature. Weather Live definitely accomplishes this, at least the, the live tile part. The app itself is actually quite messy. At least the live tile looks nice. Next, Win Milk. I gotta have a Remember the Milk client. Unfortunately, there isn't an official one out yet for Windows Phone. Wind Milk definitely does a good job though, and it basically lets you do everything from adding tasks to marking them complete and so on. I did find that it was a little bit laggy and sadly, no live tile. And speaking of Windows Phone, I'ma go into an irrelevant transition to thanking our friends at Jack Threads. Only suckers pay full price, okay? If you're into alternative apparel like Stussy, Kid Robot, and Hurley, but hate wasting all of your cash on them, listen up. You can score these premium brands up to 80% off every day. There's a new invite-only shopping club just for guys called Jack Threads, serving up street, skate, and surfwear brands at prices that'll melt your brain. There's a wait list to join, but if you head on down to jackthreads.com slash techno, again, that's jackthreads.com slash techno, you'll get instant access to all of their killer hookups. Go now. Now, back to Windows Phone. Email is a big thing for me. I'm a Gmail user myself, and here's a trick that I picked up a few years back that allows you to set up Gmail as an exchange account on your phone. And yes, this is a glow-in-the-dark Snoopy sticker. Mmm. I rock it. I rock it so hard. First, go to settings and add an account. And instead of tapping Google, select Outlook. Type in your Gmail address and password. Custom email domains work as well, as long as everything is set up with Google and Gmail. Hit sign in when you're done. It's going to try to sync and fail. That's normal. Now, under username, enter in your full email again and once again, tap sign in. And like before, it's going to fail. Here's the crucial part. Tap advance. Under server, type in m.google.com. Sign in and boom! You've now got your Gmail set up as an exchange account. Just a heads up, you can most definitely do this with multiple emails. From my experience, setting it up like an exchange account helps push the emails in a little bit better, but that could totally just be me. I'm a little sad to say that Windows Phone 7 doesn't handle emails quite as well as iOS or Android. It's like 98% there, 98. So it can do everything, you know, send emails, reply to emails, attach things and all that jazz, but the issue comes with syncing, okay? If I have an email marked red on my phone, it's not marked red on my computer. It'll be marked unread and vice versa. It just doesn't seem to sync 
one hundred percent of the time. I don't know. It just I don't know. But it's just again, it's a small thing, and uh, I'm I'm very very picky about this stuff. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my little list of Windows Phone Seven apps. And again, I'm a new user, so if there are any Windows Phone apps that you love and I haven't mentioned, feel free to share them in the comments. And uh, like always. If there are any apps that you would like me to check out, let me know by commenting. And on behalf of Rev3 and the Techno Buffalo crew, I wish you guys a happy holidays. Take care. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. All right, let's 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 try it. Okay, go ahead. Here we go. Are they looking at the camera? Happy holidays from the Totally Rad, Rad Show. Show. Happy holidays from all of us. No more talking. Please, I'm begging you. Right there, right there. It'll take two seconds. Happy, happy holidays, holidays from Map Judgment. Happy holidays, everybody, from all of us here at Dig Nation. You. And holidays. <laughs> happy, 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 happy holidays, holidays from Techno, Techno, Techno Buffalo. That's what I'm talking about right there. It's all focused and sharp and stuff. Happy, happy holidays, holidays from, from Techzilla. <laughs> Have a scamtacular holiday. Get drunk. Eggnog. Also steal their presents. Happy holidays from Film Riot and Phil. So wait, 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 where are you going? I thought you were done. Happy holidays from everybody here at Soldier Knows Best and by everybody, I mean just me. From all of us here at Geek TV, happy, happy holidays! From all of us at Different Strokes and the entire Revision 3 family, we'd like to wish you a happy holidays and we hope 1986 is your best year yet. Happy the holidays! You mean happy holidays. Hey! A cat on a crane! What? Happy holidays from the Destructoid Show. Which holiday? All of the holidays. Ready? No. Happy holidays from all of us at Film Right and Film State. Good enough. <laughs> <laughs>